Yeah, so I guess I came here for a training camp uh, to train with some of the IM boys. I came over here from obviously from New Zealand with Carter Swift, who's an alumni here, um, and he finished I think last year. So he pretty much invited me around to say like, look, you may as well come over while I'm coming over, and we may as well try make a training camp out of it. Because usually in New Zealand, you know, things close down over summer, so because it's summer there right now, um, and being Olympic here next year. Um, I didn't really want to stop swimming too, for too long, um, but yeah, so I just came over for a training camp. Unfortunately, at the moment, I can't actually swim with the team because of NCAA eligibility um, things going on. But over my head, for a winter, it's really warm. I mean, I'm swimming after these guys, so they get the cold stuff, and then I, when, by the time I swim, um, it's sort of like midday, so it's really warm. Um, sun every day, it's nice, nice getting the, um, the sun on the back. And everyone's super welcoming, you know, like it's such a cool environment here. It's like super performance related, right? Everyone's fighting to be the best um, and the best in the world. So it's really interesting and quite eye-opening to see um, how everyone sort of operates over here. I wasn't crazy happy with my performance at World Champs. Um, I got sixth in the 4 a.m. and I was a few seconds over my, my best time. Um, but I feel like that was probably a blessing in disguise, you know, like a bad performance gave me a whole bunch of new motivation to swim really well. I actually, a couple months ago, just left my hometown um, and moved to like our biggest city in New Zealand to sort of switch up training and really put my best foot forward um, for, for Paris. And I think it's, I hope it'll pay off. You know, I've, the, the month that I was there before I came here um, was really enjoyable and training was slightly different. Um, but yeah, I think it's really exciting going into the sort of the next six months. Coming off the back of this training camp, we'll, I'll go back home um, and pretty much instantly start preparing for world champs in Doha. Um, I'll go to Doha and that'll hopefully be where I punch my ticket to Paris. And then sort of that next sort of five or six months will be a mixture of training and racing. Um, in New Zealand, we don't do a whole bunch of racing and I think that's been one of my sort of um, not my downsides or maybe something that we haven't actually explored enough so I'll be doing a lot more racing throughout New Zealand and Australia hopefully we have our actual Olympic trials um, which is where the rest of the team will probably qualify um, but yeah it'll just be more racing more training and hopefully by the time Paris comes around it'll be going a lot faster than I am right now <laughs>been crazy um, the last few years it's sort of I mean coming from New Zealand we don't have medal, many people winning medals on the world stage and um, it doesn't happen often and we don't really know how to win medals so that's why we come to you know the States Australia to figure out what you guys are doing to actually get there um, and I think we have the formula now. Um, we've got a few really good guys and girls coming coming through. You know, we had um, we've got Erica Fairweather at the moment who won our you know our only medal at, um, at Worlds this year. So it's really exciting, I think, from in New Zealand at the moment.